Federal safety investigators say a 13 year old boy was the one driving the pickup involved in Tuesday's head on crash that killed nine people in West Texas. The NTSB also says the truck was running on a spare front tire that blew out. The pickup hit a van carrying members of a college golf team from New Mexico. Seven people in the van died, along with the 13 year old and an adult man in the truck. Fox 4's Dion Anglin has today's developments. Dion. Hi there, Steve. That's right. Federal investigators call it a high speed collision in West Texas that killed nine people. They are still reconstructing that crash, but today revealed it was a child driving the vehicle that caused the accident. Unsettling details from the NTSB. One deceased victim, a 13 year old boy, was the person driving the pickup truck that crashed head on with the University of the Southwest van, killing nine people, including seven college golfers. The remains were identified and by the size. So the uh, Department of Public Safety made that, uh, made that determination. The NTSB also determining the pickup had a blowout before the crossover crash. A spare tire discovered on the left front side. The latest development Thursday afternoon amid the ongoing grief and sorrow over the crash. She always had a smile on her face, always happy and bubbly and just a great kid. I spoke to Chelsea Stone by phone. Her daughter from Nakona, Texas, Lacey Stone, died in the crash. She was a freshman who picked up golf and excelled at it quickly. She played when she was younger with her dad. You know, he would go to the golf course. She'd just go with him. And then her sophomore year of high school, she got very serious. We know she had a great relationship with Jesus. So we know where she is, which is helpful to us. And, um, she, you know, she will, that's how she'll be remembered as our angel. Our institution is crushed and broken, but strong. University of the Southwest officials spoke to reporters Thursday morning for the first time, expressing a collective feeling of sadness and gratitude for support. When we lose one, let alone seven, um, I mean, you can imagine what that's like if you were to lose seven of, seven of your family members in, in one accident. You can imagine what that's like. That's what it's like for us. It's just the outpouring of support from in our local community, uh, not only in our local community, but you know, all across the country. We have, we have large organizations all, uh, just reaching out to us. What can they do to help? Now, the two survivors from the crash are in a Lubbock hospital and uh, university officials today said they are a stable condition, uh, critical but stable, and they're making steady progress toward recovery.